know that you know no one is going to be that bold and walk up on my deck and remove my umbrella Hello family, welcome back to another week's video. If you are stopping by for the first time, I am Shauna LaKell and thank you for clicking on today's video. I am sitting outside on my deck. Last night we had a storm come through and I just came out here to start checking to see, you know, how things look out here. One of the things that caught my eye, I'm just like, where is my umbrella? my umbrella is missing. And I looked all around the backyard, just could not find it. So I then called my daughter and I said, Brie, I can't find the umbrella. We're just looking and looking. So Brianna decides she's gonna walk Sammy. And when she was walking Sammy, she said, mom, I see your umbrella. I was like, where is my umbrella, Brianna? Because I'm like, I live in a fairly decent neighborhood. I just know that, you know, no one is going to be that bold and walk up on my deck and remove my umbrella. That was really bothering me. But you are going to be surprised where that umbrella ended up at. Because I searched the property and I could not find it. And you're, you're just going to be surprised. All right, we had a storm that came through here and it just kind of knocked everything down. Thank God it didn't break my um, vase there. Uh, I'm gonna have to clean these plates down, put it out wet. And when I came out here, I just knew somebody stole my umbrella. Yeah, they stole my umbrella. That's what I was saying. I was just like, oh my gosh, somebody stole my umbrella. Well, guess what? <laughs> oh my God, this looks pretty bad out here. I'm gonna show you where my umbrella end up at. You guys are gonna be like, OMG. <laughs> All right. Look at the grass, it looks pretty bad. But let me see if I can step back. The umbrella is, can you see it? Can you see it? <laughs> I'm stepping back. Oh, let me look where I'm going because I'm walking backwards. But the umbrella is there. Let me zoom in. Can you see that? The umbrella went all the way up there on top of the roof. It's up there. Let's see if I can. Y'all yeah, can see it. It's up there. There it is. Good picture right there. So, <laughs> Mark is going to go up there and see if he can get it down off the roof. I don't know how the umbrella. Let me bring it back in focus. There we go. I don't know how the umbrella got swooped up there. It did not knock anything over because I had these items sitting here. I just thought somebody came in here. God, I got to clean all this up. This looks nasty. I would have never thought it would end up there because I checked the window, the screen to see if it was punctured or damaged. Nothing, no evidence. That's why I was shocked that it ended up on the roof. Mark has the ladder all set up. He's just in the garage looking for something that he needs to um, be able to pull that umbrella down. 
And this is my citronella plant. It is still hanging in there and thriving. I do see that it's leaning over. So I'm going to go ahead and get something to prop it up. But yeah, the umbrella is on top of the roof. Who would have thought to check there? Not me. Mark is coming outside on the deck. Let me go ahead and get myself positioned out in the yard so that I can share this footage with you. I gotta mute some of this. Mark is being sexual chocolate up there. You you guys, he, I can't air what he's saying <laughs> to me. He's being too sexy right about now. <laughs> I wish I could let y'all hear what he's saying, but he is tripping up there. He's actually betting me something, telling me I'm not gonna have to climb up on the roof. What I'm using is going to work. And I'm like, are you sure it's gonna work? He said, bet me, bet me. That's what I'm saying. That's what he's, but he's being sexual chocolate. Okay, y'all. <laughs> One thing I love about our marriage, we have fun. We laugh and we joke and he is a jokester. And I just love that about him. And that just makes our relationship balance. We're actually getting ready to celebrate 27 years of marriage on August the 5th. Mark is always teasing me, saying, Shauna, you are a dream crusher. I'm like, no, I'm not, baby. I'm not a dream crusher. Yes, you are. Every time I give you my idea, you'd like to shoot it down. That's a dream crusher. I was like, okay, I'm sorry, baby. I must say, that is a brilliant idea to use the long handle roller of a paintbrush to pull it down. Oh boy, did he win this one. He did not have to get up there on top of the roof. He won this one. By far, he won this one. Oh, it has a screw See right, here. right there. Look at that piece there. Yeah, that piece. Oh, this piece. Do you it's think like you a can, ribbon. You can't weld that together. I don't think that one can be weld. It looked like it just broke. It's I a just, ribbon. I'm going to order me another one. Because yeah. the fabric right there is got a hole. But I've told you before several there, times to, so. to keep it closed. And you didn't listen. also it ripped through here see the ends it's not going to be able to hold it it's supposed to be a pocket yeah like this right here exactly and but you could have sewn that one. up if worst case scenario but no nah, i would just get a new i'll one. just get a new one anyway but i told you it's this just it's forward to, 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 to lower it down when you're not in use and you didn't listen so that's why yeah, it's that's pretty damaged at least it, nobody didn't yeah, I thought somebody had took it. I thought they walked up on our patio, on our deck, and just took my stuff. I decided I'm going to go ahead and order a brand new umbrella to replace that one. It did make sense to even think about trying to patch it up. I did order it off of Amazon. It's in my storefront. Um, you can find that link in my description box. Also, I'm going to go ahead and blow these pine needles. It was a lot of pine needles. The camera is not picking it up, so you can't really see what I'm seeing. But I'm going to get it all um, blown away. And then I'm going to wipe down the cushions and get this deck all set back up.
It is hot as a dickens out here. It's morning and it is so muggy out here. I do have um, water inside the patio. I have the air condition on in there. So when I do feel um, ex you know, a little hot, I go in there and I cool down and drink some water. I am removing this rug. I purchased a new one. I found one in Ross for $12.99 for outdoor. And I was looking for this particular one when I originally um, did my deck in teal and black. And I couldn't find one, but that was all I could find. But I got the one that I want, so I can't wait for you to see it. And if you have not seen the video to when I decorated this space before, I definitely make sure I leave that in my description box. That's a video you do not want to miss. We are 5K strong, and that is all because of you. And I want to thank you. 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 And I want to thank you. Thank you for being a part of my YouTube family. That means so much to me. Thank you for your loyal support. Thank you for always showing up. And thank you for leaving those beautiful comments each and every week. Family, I am going to give five lucky subscribers an opportunity to win a $25 gift card from Amazon. All you have to say in the comments, I want to win the 5K gift card from Amazon. That's all you have to say. Good luck. And again, thank you for being a part of my YouTube family. Now, you have from July the 24th through Friday, July the 29th, midnight, to get your um, entry into the drawing. And that's Eastern Standard Time. Again, good luck. I will announce all winners on my Sunday, July the 31st video. I'm going to go ahead and get this table um, set back up. I was able to get those um, plates washed. They had a lot of dirt on them. So got that all nice and clean. And then I want to go ahead and also I see a lot of dust on my grill. I'm going to definitely make sure I wipe that down as well. This grill has um, served us very well. There's nothing wrong with it. The only thing I see is that the lettering on the grill has faded out. I wish that these people, when they make this stuff, that they use a better ink for the um, the grill. Because when you're wiping or when you clean off any of that, um, you know, grease, built up grease, it comes off. I wish they would find a better way. I'm not getting rid of it because there's nothing wrong with it and it's working in perfect condition for me.
My new umbrella arrived just in time. Definitely this rug here works perfect. It's not too big, not too small. For several weeks, I have been saying, Shauna, you need to trim these branches. The only time I remember is when I get on the riding lawnmower and take that path to go up and down there. Those branches will be in my way. I have to bend my head over as I'm passing so that it doesn't hit me in the face. But I'm taking care of it today. Those branches must go. And load it down. I know I might be headed for teardrops. Now that you got me started, I just can't stop. No, no. Hope you enjoyed today's video if this is your first time here i want to extend a warm welcome and thank you so much for stopping by and watching my video i hope you enjoy my content just enough you know i like her vibe and hit that subscribe button and become a part of our family we would love to have you here and to all our returning family members thank you again so much for always supporting me and showing up remember i want to hear from you guys make sure you um enter into the drawing for the um 5000k subscribers and leave me a comment in the uh, comment section let me know um, introduce yourself let me know who you are where you live and give me a little information about you if you like to i would love to hear from you We are coming towards the end of this video and I want to thank you for spending some time with me. I hope you have a blessed week and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.